Okay, so I'm going to talk you through the G major technical exercise that you're going to be asked to do in your grade three. You need the fingering chart that you've already got, which shows you how to find the, uh, the notes of the scale. So make sure you've got that next to you, just in case you need it. Okay, first of all, we're going to play from the low G on string six up to open G string three with this rhythm. I'm going to do that again. I suggest you pause the video, play through that four or five times. Let's say five times. Welcome back. <laughs> now we're going to carry on from the A on string three. Listen to the rhythm. And open G. I'll play that again. From the A up to the high G and then the open G. Pause the video, play it five times. Okay, you've unpaused the video, right? Otherwise you can't hear me. Here's all the scale section. Your turn. Play it five times. Now, the next thing we're gonna do is just take the lower octave and play as an arpeggio. The notes G, B, D, and G. Listen to this. G, 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 B, B, D, D, G. And again, without me talking all over it. Have a go. Try that a few times. And finally, we're going to do the broken chord followed by the strum. This uses your regular G major chord shape, but with the extra third finger on D. Although, don't put that down yet, because before we play it, we're gonna need the open B string. Check this out. Followed by the strum. Here it comes again. G on string six, B on string five, open D, open G, open B, and on the same string, third finger on D, little finger on high G. Up to speed. And strum. So what we've got is the scale with the rhythm, the arpeggio, just on the lower octave, the broken chord, and then the strum chord. Scale, arpeggio, broken chord, strum. Scale, arpeggio, broken chord strum. Scale, arpeggio, broken chord strum. La, la. Thank you. Here's the whole thing. practice.